Hey guys, welcome back to War Thunder. So in recent days, Gaijin has introduced this new event called World War II Chronicles, which every day they introduce a new battle that you can partake in with different lineups of planes or tanks or whatever. And the really nice thing about it is the fact that you can actually win prizes from just simply playing this event. Not only just playing, you actually have to win matches. So if you get 225 wins, then you can actually win a Spitfire Mark IX USSR. Wow, so that's pretty cool that you can actually just play the game and get something that costs real life money essentially for free within the game. The only thing is, is that this is good on paper, but not necessarily executed in a good way. Okay, so you're supposed to get victories here, 225 victories. Whenever there is a condition in an event in War Thunder, People are always going to try to come up with the most abusive way possible in order for them to win or attain victory in a match. So if we go on over to the matches here, this is today's event. It's the Italian Offensive in Africa. This is arcade battles. Notice how there's fighter planes and bombers. Today's event is not so bad, but yesterday was killer. I think it was on Norway or Fjords or something like that. There was just so many bombers, like, I'm talking about 75% of the team, if not even more, were bombing, and the matches were over within two minutes. So, while I appreciate that people want to win, it really just brings out the worst parts in the game. Like, maybe some people are okay with, you know, two-minute matches. I'm not really okay with that. I don't get much fun out of a game that ends before I even know what's happening. So, did not have fun with that quit out of it, did not play any more of the event yesterday. Today, decided to give it another shot. This is the lineup. Now, the bomber spam is not so bad this time because I think they're using, well, they are using different bombers and I think these bombers have a lower payload than the ones yesterday. What is a problem though, is take a look at the plane lineups. So tell me how a gladiator can compete against like an MC200 or G50, but even tell me more, how does a G50 or an MC200 compete against a hurricane? Like, that... I, I just don't understand where the balance comes in here. I get the premise that it's supposed to be historical, but... You know, at the cost of it being historical, then losing balance in the game? I'm not too sure about that. If you doubt me, how about we go out into an actual match? So I have a feeling that this is gonna quickly turn from... Just... I don't know, talking about the event to actually playing the match. But... Alright. Let's try to prove a point here. So I was supposed to talking about the bomber spam. It was real yesterday. Oh, the bomber spam was real. And it is still present. Like, look at this. You don't normally see this many bombers in a normal arcade match. But because people are trying to attain victory as quick as possible and assured victory, then you get a lot of bombers. I think, though, that they introduced a limit where you can only use two planes. And after that, you are out of the match. So it's not like, I'm not sure if that was in, pre in yesterday, but it is definitely in now. But yesterday the matches were ending so quick, and I have a feeling maybe that's because people were just, you know, dying, jumping out into another bomber, and then, you know, so on and so forth. I mean, for example, what's the point of reloading bombs on a bomber when you could just jump out of it and go into another one if there was no limit on how many planes you could use, for example, right? So, okay. I'll show you the firepower of the Hurricane. The thing is, the Hurricane is a, a lot better than the MC200 and also the G50s because it has better firepower, better turn time, pretty much can keep up to speed, if not even better speed, than the other ones, the G50 and the MC200. And it also has better, better structural, structural integrity, as so far as I noticed. Why'd that guy have to take my kill? I purposely left it because... His tail control was gone. But this plane absolutely does wreck. Look at that. Pilot knockout. Easy peasy. Alright, I think this is the guy that took my kill. So let's see if I can take his kill then. It's only fair. It's only fair. He's lost his tail control. Oh, he just misses the mountain. Imagine I'll probably pilot snipe him. Oh! Okay, that's a bit more of a pilot than a pilot snipe. But it goes to show you just how powerful this plane is. 
Using the MC200 and the G50 can be a little bit of a frustrating experience because they're kind of a bit infamous for kind of lacking in firepower. And they do lack in firepower. Where the MC202 is a lot better than those ones. These are just <gasps> a lot worse. Wow! I think every plane is just exploding today, aren't they? Huh. Well, maybe that's the power of the hurricane? Who knows? Double hurricane power making everybody blow up. It's so amazing. It's like a die-hard movie. But quickly these bombers are dying. See, the bomber spam is real, but it's not as successful this time as I noticed. I have a feeling it's because the payloads aren't as great on these planes, but also the spawn limits as well. So here comes down the MC202. I don't think he's going to get the kill, though. All right, check this out, check this out. Oh! Tur check out that turn time. You just pitch up, no problem. Guy's not- What the hell is MC2? God damn this hurricane! He keeps on taking my kill! I mean, we're both going for the same kill, so it could be anyone's kill. But he's the one that keeps on finishing them. And Albite always in a ball of fire as well. I think I need to get away from this guy. Seems like I'm doing all the damage and then he's just getting the finisher. Kind of frustrating. So here we go. Next bomber. Coming on down. Coming on down. Is he gonna explode? Oh, he's prime! He's gonna explode! <laughs> well, what would you even... I feel like there should be a name for this. Allah Akbar. It's Allah Akbar Simulator. But check that out. There's bombers all the way up there as well. So you'll get that, man. You will get that. You'll get people that are gonna use their bombers and just hide all the way up in the stratosphere. Go into space. Getting ready to go to the ISS. You know? And then you won't finish them for ages. God damn it. That's Hurricane. He's not gonna get away from me, though. We're both Hurricanes. Equally matched. Nope. Your tricks won't work. Your magic won't work! Sorry, dude. Unfortunately, one of my guns is jammed. Now I have to look for another guy, because I'm pretty sure there was a guy that was around me. What? Or at least I thought it was, unless he crashed, like, when I look in the bottom right-hand corner and said somebody crashed. Maybe he crashed, I don't know. Maybe he did. Maybe he did. Or maybe he didn't, who knows. Four kills this, four kills. Power of the hurricane. Beauty. I think it has, what, eight? 7.62s or something like that. <sighs> Load out the stealth ammo. Massive damage. I don't think you'll ever see an MC200 or a G50 at the top. Notice how a lot of people are using... I mean, there are quite a few people using the MC200 and G50s, but in proportion, there's a lot more people using Hurricanes. I think it's because people have realized what's going on. Now, the thing is, I haven't been able to try this out in realistic battle. Because, I don't know what's going on, but maybe there's not a lot of people playing Ballistic Battle or something, but I cannot get into a game. I wait for a number of minutes. Hasn't started. It's like nobody's playing Ballistic Battle. I mean, they probably are. Because, you know, there's numbers in the queue. But, I can't actually get into, a, into an actual match. MC79. SM79. Come here. Will he end up in a ball of flames? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Oh, he's getting primed! Allah Akbar! <laughs> oh, man. Whenever they get caught on fire like that. It's just whenever they get caught on fire, like an engine fire or fuel fire or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a special, it's a firework, dude. It's a firework display. So how many people are left? It looks like bombers, probably high altitude guys. There's a Blenheim, for example, all the way up there. We're draining points. We could finish this off. Hold on, let me see if I can take out the armored car. I've got armor piercing rounds, so maybe that'll work. Oh, it does. It does work. Nice. Nice. Good stuff. So I can do a little bit of strafing here, because it's low tiers, right? So you're only going to see like low tier vehicles. So you can just easily destroy them. It's close! It's neck and neck! 
So yeah, one of my big questions is who the hell comes up with this balance? Because like I understand the historical authenticity or whatever, and that's great, fine, but like it's just when you use the G50 or the MC200, it's just terrible. You don't you don't feel like playing the event anymore. That sort of thing, right? But luckily, there is something like this. Assault in Africa, where you can actually use tanks. Now guess what? Yep, yeah, you thought it might have been Africa. No, it's jungle. I thought this was like a Pacific map, not Africa. At least that was my impression anyway. But I'm using the Germans here because, well, I don't think a lot of people might realize this. Maybe they do. I don't know. But... I think the Germans are actually a lot more powerful than the American lineup. The M2A4s aren't bad, but they just have normal armor-piercing shells. There's no, like, explosive component within them, so it's really tough to finish off people. So, I would much rather use a tank like the Panzer IIc, which, when you get the upgraded belts, you get these high-velocity armor-piercing shells, and because this thing is like an autocannon, you can fire 10 shells at the enemy, and the penetration is really good. Not from like, you know, 1,000 meters or a kilometer or whatever, but anything under 100 meters, like, you're going to absolutely devastate the enemy. 10 rounds. You're essentially shooting 10 rounds at an enemy. Whereas the Americans are taking like, what, 2 seconds or something to reload? Here you're shooting 10 rounds at an enemy. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. Alright, so I'm just going to get on the edge over here. So I'm going to get ready to cross over the river. And I'm going to try going on top of the hill. So that I can try to shoot people on the side as they get behind the bank. But, oh my god, are they going to cap first? What's going on? Quick, 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 quick. Cap first. Cap, cap. We're good. We're good. Alright, time to cross over. Hey. There's a premium tank. And I'm going to try climbing up the top of the hill. The AI can be a little bit frustrating because you don't really know... Because it's a simulator battle, so you don't have name tags. So you don't know who's an AI and who's a real player. Then again, you can just tell from the dumb movements who's an AI. But sometimes when you're coming against the enemy, you can't really tell. Unless it's blatantly obvious. Like, you know you're taking up against Americans and then there's T-26s or whatever. Going around the battlefield. Okay, we're climbing, we're climbing. So somebody's going to get distracted by the AI. The question is, will anybody go on top of the hill as well? If they do, then I have to kill them. Hopefully nobody has ultra low graphics here. Alright, here we go! Up, 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 up! Oh boy! That was some damage. It was a little bit. Reload speed's not too bad. But mind you, this is a... Uh, AI here. See, this is blatantly obvious it's an AI. Didn't unfortunately kill him. Surprising. Aha. Hello. God damn it. <laughs> I killed a bunch of guys right there and then. See, when you're using the M2A4, you really have to be careful about where you're aiming, you know? Sort of thing. So that you can kill crew members with your armor piercing shells, because armor piercing shells really just don't do anything. In terms of like high explosive damage. So you gotta be a bit careful where you shoot. But here you can just spam and you'll be pretty much bound to kill something. What is that? A T28? Really? That has to be an AI. Yeah, that is an AI. That can't be real. That's not gonna be real. There is another enemy there though. I see him. I'm just worried about that enemy that's behind the rock. I'm not sure if I've seen him die. Alright, hold up bro. Hold up. Oh my god, the smoke! It's putting me off. Spam a bunch of shots at him. Can't even tell if I took out any crew members there. Because... It only shows the first penetrating shots. Okay, looks like one guy died. There's only one guy. I'm getting artillery dropped on my ass. So let's drop some artillery on his ass. I think that must be the rock formation. I'm moving. Oh shit! Oh shit! That guy is still alive. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Come on, dude! Fucking... They take so long sometimes. When they're using fire extinguishers. Die. 
Oh, he's dead. So he was held up there that entire time. Let's take a look if there's anybody dead inside. Ah, uh, we lost one man. Brave soul. Brave soul. I've only got a three-man crew, though. Not a lot to work with here. But I'm wrecking. I am wrecking. I want to wreck some more, though. Oh, here we go. Hello. Is that real? I couldn't tell if he was dead or not. It's these people using these... <laughs> God damn it. It's these people using these, uh, what, what do you call them? Making their tanks look like they're dead. Holy crap, dude. I re... My reload time is so bad. My reload time is so bad. Because I'm down on guys. Die, bitch! Nah, that's not quite good. I think I've got to move around. If I'm going to have success here, I need to try to take on enemies. Probably more frontally. There is a guy just up ahead over here. I don't think he even sees me. Hopefully not, anyway. Come out, come out, come out. Come out, come out, come out. I think he's behind the rock. I can't tell. We will find out. Oh, shit. There's somebody moving up. I'm gonna try to intercept this little dude. The interception is inbound. Oh, shit. No! I'm getting stuck between a palm tree and a goddamn rock. It's not good. He's not good, senor. So I could try to bum rush this guy down here. I'm not exactly sure which direction he's gonna come up. But I have a feeling I could drop on his ass. Looks like he's gone down the way. Looking at where his tracks might be. So I need to find him. And then I must kill him. Here I go. I'm in the search for some blood. I think I found him. That's him. Hello. Come on, stabilize gun. That was not the stabilization that I needed. God damn it. Now what's probably going to happen is that the guys are going to cross over knowing that I'm dead now. So they're going to go to C. The place that would make most sense for me to go is not directly, but into the jungle. I think my team might be getting wrecked here. Yeah. Looks like they have double the amount of guys as we do right now. Since my team is getting trekked. Sucks. But it is what it is. I'm going to try to defend C as best as I can. They're not capping yet. But it's okay. I'll get an advantage point on them. So come into the jungle. And in fact, maybe what I can do is go around. I can try going around the sand dunes. If they haven't actually reached the point yet. I can actually try going around, and that's what I might do. Just go all the way around here. God damn it! The last three people, the top three people. Carrying the match as best as we can. It's not enough. It's just not enough for efforts. We're futile. We did not carry hard enough. Now the question is, where are these guys? Come on. There is going to be an enemy around here. I know it. Aha! I spy with my little eye a little... Tonk. Well, I think there's another Tonk just on the side here. Die, bitch! Screw you! Hopefully that other guy won't see me. Oh wait, I killed him. We're good, we're good, we're good. Turn, 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 turn. Mayday, mayday. Did I kill anything? I did! I did kill something. In fact, I think I actually killed him. Hold up. Let's be absolutely sure. Yeah, I did kill him. Oh shit, we lost though. Okay. Well, it was something. It was something. But there you guys have it, that is a bit of the event. I actually got a winter camouflage. Huh. That's pretty interesting. Got a camouflage out of that. But anyway guys, that's it for now. I gotta ask you, are you enjoying these events? Do you like them so far? If anything, if I'm gonna keep on going with these events, just for today anyway, I'm, I don't know what the ones in the future are gonna be like, then I'd probably go for the simulator battle with the Panzer II C or F or DAC or whatever, and get those uh, high velocity rounds because they really just wreck. And in arcade battles, definitely using the hurricane. That will that will sort you good. Definitely. But anyway guys, until the next video, this is Krebs, and I will catch you next time. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Now we blasting off into the ozone. The way we kicking in the dojo.
Joe is local for show, though we did.